Hello everyone and welcome to the Ultimate Gaming Channel. In today's video I'm gonna try and test all seven different tires that we have in the game. So I load them all in the car. And uh, we will start with spare tires of course. I will try and use the same road. I picked one here on the first zone. And uh, I will drive a bit of road here. Then a bit on the road, then I'm gonna go off-road again, and then I will try and climb the hills here, you know what I mean. And it, I will try to do the same lap with each tires. So let's start with the spare tires, guys. So now I'm using limb chip, as you can see, and the spare tires. And they are actually not that bad, I mean... They are sliding a lot when you are off-road. They're sliding much more than the off-road and the old terrain, of course. And uh, you cannot go faster than this, I think, with these tires on the off-road. But let's see. So this is here now. I turned off the storms and shit, so I can test this in peace. And now you see here how I'm sliding. It's hard now, it's hard to go here up if you're going very slowly. So spare tires for off-road are not that great, guys. So now let's see how are they perform on the road. And uh, they should be okay on the road, actually. But now you see, with the limb chips, I can go fast, I mean almost as fast as other engines. So then, put the handbrake here, and I'm gonna jump now off this hill right here, right? So heading towards the tape. So let's see now. With the spare tires. Uh, you can go down with any tires, of course, but... Uh, let's see now when I drive here a bit. So, yeah. You are going very slowly and you slide a lot. Let's try and go uphill here. So once you have the speed, you can actually climb a lot of hills with these too. But if you stop and then try to do it from the stop, I think it's gonna be much harder. So let's see now here. Pure off-road here. And uh, yeah, it's going very slowly here with the spare tires, guys. So you don't want to use spare tires for the off-road. Now you see, with the limp chip, and this is top speed on the off-road. So it's not that great. And now let's try and climb the hill there. With these tires, I will full stop here. and try to climb that mountain there. So let's see now. But I will actually stop right before the hill here. Now let's see, can these tires climb this? And... Very, very hard, but... I managed to do it because I have the limb chipped again. So let's see, maybe some more, like where I can climb. But okay, actually, now you saw the spare tires, guys. Let's go and change it to the summer ones, you know what I mean? Come on, man, I just want to turn off the lights. And we were starting from somewhere around here. So, let's do the same. I will try to... I will try to do the same, like, seven laps. And, yeah, so now... Just ditch all this here. Because I don't care, I can just... Reload this junction once I 
do whatever I want. So after this test, I will just reload this, not to lose anything. And now, actually, I have the summer tires on me. So let's just add them and try to do the same lap as I did now. So yeah, now the spare, the summer tires, guys. And let's try to do uh, the same shit again. Now the summer tires are a bit better here. But again, top speed and a lot of sliding. Once you are caught in the slide, it's hard to correct it, you know what I mean? So now let's see. But these tires should perform much better on the road because it's AA rating on these ones. And uh, something is wrong here. Okay, that's a battery in the trunk. I don't give a shit about that now. And here now, let's see. Same thing as the spare tires again. But a bit better than the spare ones. Yeah, lots of sliding here. Summer ones and uh, <coughs> sorry about this. And now we are getting on the road. These tires should have much better grip than the spare ones, and they are they have much better grip. As you can see, I'm going much faster than with the last one. And now let's do the same thing again. Here I'm going to jump from here, and then drive a bit off road there. So we are going for the tape now, I will slow down a bit, just to see now how these perform when I stop and try to drive now uphill, a bit better, yeah, than the, than the other ones, but again, for the off-road, not that great, let's see, yeah, I can do this now because I have limp chipped again, but uh, Now let's see the top speed here, while I'm driving off-road on the straight line, like... And again, long time until you reach the high speed. And almost the same as the spare ones. Yeah, this one's going a little bit faster, but again, a lot of time to achieve that speed. They are sliding a lot when you turn like this in high speeds. And uh, now let's see, so I stopped somewhere around here. And yeah, so somewhere around here I stopped the last time. Now let's try and climb this hill again. So with the summer ones, with the summer ones can I climb this hill now guys? And yeah, it's much better than the spare ones. So. But again, you don't want to use spare ones and uh, summer ones here because they are sliding a lot, as you can see here. So I lost control now, and yeah, you don't want to use these ones of the off-road guys. So now let's try and do the same lap again. I'll change now to off-road, and that's going to be the third tires. So we are starting somewhere around here. And yeah, I, I ditched the last tires here too, so I'm just gonna do the same thing again. And yeah, so I'm just going to change now the summer tires to the off-road ones and do this again. And now where are the off-road tires? This is all terrain, so the others are probably here. So yeah, the off-road tires, guys. Now... Come on, man. And now these tires are the best for the off-road, guys. For climbing, for everything. For water, I mean... Almost the same as the old terrain, but... 
bit better on the off-road, but the old terrain a bit better on the road, so you need to choose what you want. And now let's see with the off-roads, much much better traction of course. Now there is not, there is no sliding at all, you can go full speed, turn how hard you want. You will not slide out guys, so now you see the top speed, I already, I'm already driving much faster than with the last two. And yeah, there is no sliding at all, so the best tires for the off-roads are these ones guys, of course. Now let's see here, when I ditch to this. So now you see these tires just went through like it's nothing. So if you want to drive off-road guys, you just use these tires, you cannot make a mistake, you can drive with these tires all the way until the end of the game, I mean, they are that good, because you will mostly drive more off-road than, uh, than on-road, at least I'm playing like that, so. And now again, you see the top speed here, the same as the other ones, so, for the off-road performance and the solid road performance you want to use these ones now we're going to jump here again and with these tires almost nothing you will just you just going man and now let's try and do here so with these tires i'm flying now as you can see very easy i can climb wherever i want especially with the limp chipped engine guys look at this now i will even jump here oh my god yeah so these tires for the off-road guys now you see and the top speed here quickly reached so for the off-road you want to use these ones or the old terrain guys look at the top speed here now okay this guy charged me a bit who gives a shit and now here we the battery empty but it doesn't matter because i i left uh, lights to be on all the times and the uh, so that I don't need to worry about that. And now you see with the off-road guys and the limp chips, it's like it's nothing here. There is no hills, there is no anything. And for the off-road or any kind of driving like this, you want to use these tires. There is no sliding at all, guys. You can just go full speed wherever you want. And yeah, I was using these tires a lot until I unlocked the old terrain because all terrain are almost the same as these ones just have a bit better I mean uh, grip on the road but almost the same so now let's see let's ditch this one and the next one in line I think is the puncture proof but these tires you, want, you only want to use them there is lots of anomalies that can damage your tires, guys, because again on the road and on the off, I mean they are good on the road, but off-road they are not that great, you will see that now. So use this only in the zone 3 or somewhere where there is lots of anomalies that can damage your tires, guys. And only then, because there are lots of better tires for the off-road and on road than these so now let's see puncture proof guys so on the off road if I try to steer hard they are not actually sliding that much as the first two but again there is not that high speed like when you use the off roads so you know what I mean but these tires actually, yeah, similar as, yeah, these tires are better than the summer and the spare, of course. But uh, on the off-road, slightly worse than the off-road, of course. And now here, as you can see, again, I'm sliding and it's very terrible. So, yeah, you don't want to use this for the off-road guys. They need the... Uh, a lot of time to achieve the speed again they don't slide as much as the first two summer and the 
spare tire, but again, for the off-road, you don't want to use these ones. And on the road, they have a good grip. You can go fast enough, but now I lost control. I don't know why, but I just lost it now with these tires here. And, uh, yeah, almost the same as other tires on the road. You can have nice speed and everything, but... Again, you want to use all terrain, not these ones. Because these ones are only good for the road and... You have a junction with lots of anomalies that can damage your tires, guys. Now let's see how it performs here. So you can drive off-road, same as the summer and shit, but uh, it's not that great. And now you see, I'm sliding here again. So for the off-roads, use the off-roads and all terrain, guys. Now here again, not that bad, but not great also. Now let's see the top speed on the straight line of road. And not that great again. So as you can see, slow jumping, sliding. Not as much as the summer tires, but not good, not good off-road again. Very slow. And very jumpy, guys. So now final test here. Get these tires. Climb this small hill. They will climb, I think, but... Uh, it's going to be poor again, so let's see. And now... Yeah. Uh, a bit better than the summer tires, but again... We don't want to use these ones for the off-road guys. And we are caught in a little bit of instability storm. But it doesn't matter. So you see now these tires. Okay for the road. Not that great for the off-road. And excellent against the damage. The tire damaging anomalies. Because it blocks flat and blown out. And that's the only way why you want to use these tires guys. The only time. So what we have now, I think it's the, I think it's the shitty pedal tire or something like that. I need to just take a quick look here. So yeah, so now the pedal tires, guys. So these tires actually are only good for the water and nothing else. So now you will see how they perform poor everywhere. And uh, here is no water, that's why I chose this this one. To show you exactly that, how these shitty tires are actually terrible for anything else but the water. Now you see how they look like with these, like, oh my god, right? Like paddles. And that's for water, you know what I mean? So you don't want to use these anywhere else but the water so that's on miles only guys and now you see off-road they are hard to steer actually but not that hard and now when I see here they don't slide actually that much yeah but they are hard to steer guys so if you want to steer you need to press it hard and then turning a bit slower than the other tires but again not so bad on the off-road I need to say that not so much speed here same as the summer ones and the spare ones but yeah these ones even turn much much harder now let's see this spot now when everybody when every each one fails except the off-road one and yeah this one actually almost good but uh, there, it's not so much sliding, but it's a bit harder to turn, you know what I mean. And now let's see them on the road. So here they should perform poorly, actually. But speed, not that bad. Yeah, actually. Yeah, but it's harder to steer them, you know what I mean. Very hard to turn now here, you know what I mean. So... But in the end, not that 
bad as I thought that they will be. Now here, yeah, lots of jumping, sliding and everything. Let's stop here. Try and go the similar way as the others. Yeah, this actually tires perform not that bad off road, but again, it's much harder to turn left and right and Again, there is not so much speed on the off-road, like the off-road tires. And on road, again, it's harder to turn with them, and not so much speed. But again, similar as the summer and the spare tires. So shit tires, basically. These tires actually only fly in the mires when you are driving purely on the water, guys. And, uh, yeah, let's see now. This hill here, these actually tires off-road are much better than the summer and the spare ones. Yeah. So now, yeah, actually much, much better, guys. I didn't expect this. Yeah, the only thing is they turn harder, a bit harder, but not so much. And the speed is not that great but you can use these tires if you don't have anything else you can actually use them guys as you can see now here yeah I didn't expect the paddle tires to go this good here because I actually never used them before guys I only tried them once actually I'm lying and that was into Myers and this is the first time I fully tested them, actually, on all conditions, and I can say that they are not that bad as I expected, guys. So in the same range, in the same range as the summer and the spare tires, and these perform excellent on the water. So I don't know, maybe you can use these ones in the mires, actually. But again, I would use off-road and not these ones. Just because they turn harder, you know what I mean? And now the last two that are left are actually the best tires. So this is the favorite tire for me. Because all ratings are A, guys. And with these tires you can just drive everywhere. They are slightly worse on off-road and slightly better on-road against the off-road tires and these tires, these two tires, you want to use these every every time, you know what I mean one of these and then just change for the puncture proof if you going on the junctions where is lots of anomalies that can damage your tires you know what I mean, but for everything else I'm using always off-road and the old terrain so let's now test the old terrain here now you will see almost the same performance as the off-road, so now sliding here, you can reach high speeds quickly. And uh, these tires will should go a little bit better and faster on the normal road, and that's why I'm using these ones, guys. Now you see the top speed here again, no sliding at all, so these tires are excellent, same as the off-road tires. So off-road off tires slightly better here. But again, you see now here, very easy with these tires too. And, uh, oops, that's because I hit the car. That's why I slide it a bit. And now we are going on the road. And these tires perform excellent here again. All ratings say, guys, now you see the top speed with the limb chipped. Easily going much higher, I mean, not much, but higher than the other ones. And then use the handbrake here. We are going to jump again from here. So no sliding, no, you can control this very easily, guys. Okay, now I shouldn't say that because I immediately fuck it up, but okay. So these tires, the same as the off-road, as you can see now. Almost no difference here 
you can go very fast climb everything I mean almost everything right so yeah I jumped here almost the same as with the off-road tires and now the top speed on the straight line here you see how I'm quickly reaching the top speed much faster than the other shitty tires so the off-road and the all-terrain guys my ultimate choice for everything and just because these tires perform a little bit better on the road and they are almost the same off-road this is my overall best choice these all terrains guys look at this now here it's like it's nothing again very fast you reach the high speeds you can control the car very nice there is no sliding at all almost and yeah all terrain guys these tires perform good in the water too same as the off-roads it's the best overall choice for me all terrain guys and now the last one to test are the power grip and these tires actually are the best for the road guys but the worst I mean in the worst in everything else you know what I mean so water rating C I think off-road is B uh, and the re road rating is AA but uh, that doesn't cover everything else because these tires they use constant battery power to use also and you don't want that I mean now I turned off battery usage and the fuel so I can do this without annoyance you know what I mean but uh, these tires are only good for the road and nothing else I mean they are excellent on the road but so you will see now off-road right power grip tires so they are again a little bit harder to turn but not that much and they are slower as you can see now but not that much again and uh, they are not sliding again almost nothing because of the power grip of course so now I see they are not that bad actually off-road too but you cannot achieve the highest speed as with the off-road all the or terrain guys but this one actually for the off-road are not that bad because the grip is excellent because of the power grip and you don't slide again but now you see here okay that was my mistake maybe a bit but again a little bit harder to climb up on the off-road and a little bit harder to turn you know what I mean but you will not slide because of the power grip guys and now when I go here this should stick to the road a lot and now I'm reaching the maximum speed very quickly as you can see but again it's not much it's almost the same as the old terrain you know what I mean so again these tires I don't know what to say but because they use constant battery power and uh, they are almost most expensive I wouldn't use these ones I would use all terrain, all the off-road guys again just because they perform a bit better off-road you can achieve better speeds off-road with the off-road and uh, all terrain than with these other ones but these tires have the best grip I need to say that there is no sliding at all anywhere and uh, only thing is they suck at water and uh, I think on the off-road here you cannot achieve the maximum speed as I mean you cannot achieve the same speed as with the off-road and the old terrain as you can see now so again the best overall choice old terrain guys and then the off-road and then maybe these tires and puncture proof because they just serve a certain purpose you want to use puncture proof only with anomalies that can damage your tires guys and for everything else again I would use the old terrain or the off-roads and that's it 
These tires are not bad. They have the best grip, no sliding at all. Best uh, road grip too, again. I mean, it's the, almost the same as the old terrain. Speed is almost the same as the old terrain on the road. And the uh, top speed again on the off-road is almost the same with all terrain and the off-road tires. So the best overall choice, guys, all terrain tires, then the off-road and then the power grip and puncture proof only in the certain situations and summer tires and the uh, puddle tires and the spare tires are the worst ones and you want to avoid uh, using them so yeah guys i think that's it from this video so if you like what you see please consider liking subscribing and commenting join me in another pacific drive video guys and now i see those two were actually yeah, I should use mechanic kit before, but I think that didn't affect the performance that much. In the end, all I can say, all terrain tires, best overall choice. Then the off-road, the best for the off-road, again. And then puncture proof, proof only in certain situations. And then the power grip only for the road. And I don't know what to say, because the high cost and the power usage for these, that's why they... Don't rank high here. So thank you again guys for watching and I hope I will see you in another video. Bye.